Good evening boys and girls, welcome to another adventure of Flandern no Street Walks. Just have a walk along the front tonight, see what the hotels are like. I've got to come up this way so might as well have a look what's going on. I'm back from my Scotland adventures as you can see. <laughs> it's very good, had a good time. Poured rain all the whole time but there we go. Is the Imperial all lit up in all its glory? The lights of the pier. There's the old speakeasy, the sign there, and down there. You're gonna have to see and get permission sometime to go down there and film it to show you what it's like. I spent a lot of time there in the 80s. Well, half of land did know did. Some good times here. Ian Turner doing the disco and all that. All the live bands, I used to play them myself with a few bands. Oh, that's the Iris Hotel. There's the Brigid on. Nice of a night, all lit up. Big calls is out now, of a night now, I think. Unless you got them burner things. This place all in the dark. It's all shut down. Forget the name of that one now. What was that now? I think I passed the old sign. Never mind. What does it say there? Saint Kilda. That's it. The Saint Kilda. Didn't know that had closed. Here's the Chatsworth all lit up. A lot of people coming in now. Soon be time for the turkey and tinsel. Of entertainment now. Not many people out, we've seen a few joggers, a few people walking the dogs. The Queen's all still closed up, sadly. I heard there was a buyer for that, but I haven't heard anything since. Well, apparently someone said the roof had all caved in on it. St George's Crescent. This will bring us up now 
past the white heather. And there's a phone box, remember them? I think the mobile phones killed them, didn't they? There's the White House. Did I say White Heather? White House, I meant. Well, I hope everyone's keeping our night. Past the Somerset now. Have a lot of stuff there overnight. Carry on down here now, come past the St. George's in a minute. It's very still tonight, I know. The, the last ones I did in London, no, it was blowing, blowing a right old hooli. <laughs> but I've gone mad now and bought a microphone. And it's got a bit of a wind muffler on it so, so if it gets a bit breezy it should in theory be clear now so there's no point in trying it tonight because it's as I say it's very still there's the St George's which as I've said before this took its name from before the promenade existed here properly, when the, all the fishing boats and the copper boats used to drag them, be dragged up on the shore here, while they unloaded and loaded back up, it was called George's Key. Or St. George's Key, maybe, I'm not sure. But that's what it took its name from. See the pier lights now? Fair play, they keep them on right through the winter. I'll turn down here now. To St George's Place is the official front entrance of the St George's. Someone jogging there. Some people are grateful to be able to walk, never oh, mind, jog. <laughs> Radio, hope well, you've enjoyed the vid. Just a Show you what's going on in town of the night here in the hotels and what have you. Where are we now? We're at the White Heather. It's a popular hotel as well. Right, I'll we'll leave this one here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Adios, amigos.